So my title program, good enough, is not good enough. So first thing I tell you is my style, my vision, and my technique. And that's what this afternoon program. This is a 200 millimeter photograph, basically. One flash to the far right. Mom's right next to me with her phone camera. Click, click, click. Can she shoot backlight? Of course not, because that's where you get your remote control. Express and sell. If you were the parents, will you buy this photograph of me? I love children for one reason. As a wedding photographer, after 10, 12 years, they get married, they have a baby. If they like you, should they come back to you? Now, everybody take a picture with their phone. But do they capture the same magic? Now, you look at this uh, photograph. It's like uh, I, did the, I did the parents' wedding about 12 years ago. They have two children. They call me up. All I did was I found a pretty door, put the two children, and that's a flash fill. Can you tell it's a flash? Of course not. The flash is minus one and one third. Anytime you're shooting a good directional light, just put your flash minus one and one third stop. You cannot tell it's a flash. The secret of one of my techniques, they call proportional subject to the background. Beauty of face. It doesn't always have to be the center I can use the arm as a leading line to focus on their face. So what's the difference here? Three lights. What color is your skin? Green. What's the opposite of green? Red. Red. So that was a natural instinct to create impact, complementary color. So first thing I did was look at her, his hair. That's called backlighting. I put a red gel. Boom. Light up his hair. Then I did what's called split lighting. I was using uh, continuous light. What's good about continuous light? What you see? is what you get. So I'm using the flex light coming across with red gel and the TT6 coming across. That's all it is. And I say, okay, show me your move. I say, I say, think deeper. <laughs> attitude, attitude, pop, 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 pop. My voice changed. Now I say, no, come on, give me attitude. No, you gotta be the man's man. You talk the talk, you walk the walk, your voice change. So I look at mom, you know you're hot. Ooh, you know it. I am directing people. You need to learn how to change your voice up and down to command the situation. Attitude. Attitude in a photograph. Look at the side of his face. There's two blue light, two edge light. That's where you create a lot of power in your photograph. Everyone else talk about frontal lighting. So this program, when we're sharing technique with you, is how we use the light from behind to make the photograph jump. City Hall, San Francisco City Hall, 16 to 35. Two lights. Look at her head, this profile. Where else can it be beside that spot? Composition wise, have to be right in that spot. Otherwise, all, all the line would cut into the face. So you got to see that with your eye. Fish eye. This is the Canon 8 to 15 million fisheye. Now look at this photograph. Where does the head have to be? In a neutral position. So that's the back of the dress, and they're just looking at each other. So I have lens that create impact. Mood. Can you see their face? Can you feel the love? Think about this. When you were young, if you're, if you're a wedding photographer, young people get married, what do they do? We go to movies, we go to dinners. When we go to a movie, what, what, what do guys always do? Put the arm around the woman. That reflect the photograph that I try to do. So I let the crate we call a heart shape. My assistant dragged these two chairs to find seagrass so I could see the composition lead into them. Look at the body. It's in a silhouette. Light is bouncing off this, actually lighting this up. So this is an art piece. That's what I try to do in photography, not just snap, snap, snap. Every job has to be a handsome image. That's what I do. Passion, be the photographer you want to be. Education, investment in yourself. You do it as a hobby, or you do it as a professional, or in between. Equipment, choosing the right camera and lighting equipment. I'm going to share what I've been using from day one. I use Canon. Um, I love the 5D, uh, Mark III and the 7D. Some of my favorite lenses, 85, 12, 16, 35, 24 to 70, or 24 to 105. 
7200. Those are my standard equipment that I carry all, everywhere in the world. Other thing I always tell people, you should always have a medium zoom and a long zoom. The question, do you want 2.8 or you want F4? The 2.8 is heavier, the uh, F4 is lighter. So I have the 24 to 70 2.8, 7200 2.8. 20, uh, 7200 F4 and 24105 F4. Look at the background, forget about the subject. That's the Palace of Fine Art. How big should that building be compared to the subject? That's a 24 millimeter shot. What happened if I shoot this at, say, 50 millimeter and step back? This would be this big. And that will overpower the subject. So when you look at my portfolio, how I work, look at the background. I find pretty background, and I balance the subject to the background. These are my telephoto lens, my 135 f2, my 50 1.2, my 200 f2, and my 85 1.2. I like f2. So when I do portrait with continuous light, I love to shoot very wide open. My favorite aperture, say my 85 1.2, is 2.2. When I turn to a side, of and two dirt facial feature. I want both eyes to be sharp. At F2 is not enough. At one point, um, at one point uh, two, one eye will be sharp, one eye will not be sharp. So I could choose the range of sharpness, but I found that 2.2 is the magical number, is what worked really well with me. So that's what I shoot, continuous light headshot. Something asked me about headshot. What you see is what you get. That's what's good about, there's no flash. So these are my 2.2 image. Okay, let's talk about the body, body angle. This is what you should not supposed to do to a woman. Square her shoulder, square her hip, and square, look at the feet. She's not gonna look very attractive. You never want to do that. You always want to do, make the body look good. Don't start turning shoulder. Always start, if you're doing a body shot, look at the feet. One should come forward, one come back. Look at the kneecap, rotate inward and give curvature to the hip. Straight shot, there's no Photoshop, it's just positioning the body. We rate body as A and B. A is small, B is big. Okay, we got double B. A is small, B is bigger. Now you got double B. We have people that come in different shape, different size. You are A. If you have a choice, making a man big, and woman small, always do that. Always make the woman look good. So as a photographer, it's your technique is to make them look good. It's called body blocking. Okay, hold hand like you're walking. Assuming the camera's straight on, we're gonna line up. Who's bigger? Michael. Okay, is he that much bigger that she looked thin? Okay. Do a woman, okay, you look at them, they look reasonably the same size. Do women prefer to look the same size or do they like to look thinner? Pretty easy answer. Okay, how many eyes do the camera have? How many eyes does the camera have? How many eyes do you have? Remember, think in terms of one eye. So, we're gonna turn toward this direction first. Not just facing this direction, so everybody see. Hold each other hand. Turn 45 degree toward each other. Find your balance. Go back quarter step. You have pockets? Okay. Turn a little wider. Okay, lean in slowly. Just look this direction. Now, Michael, walk three inch forward. Okay. Now walk back three inch. Okay, now you saw with two eyes, right? Yeah. Now put one hand over your eye. This is what the camera see. Michael, walk for it. Look with one eye. Does Michael look a lot bigger now? Yeah. What happened to the woman? What happened to the woman? She got smaller. By moving something forward, it looked bigger. So that is the basic concept of a photography with a camera, is that whatever's closer will look bigger. So I'm always making a man bigger so the woman looks small. That's your A and B. A is small, B is bigger. Convert the B into an A. Posing, creating uneven height. Here's two people, right? Uneven height. Here's three people, triangular posing. Feel the love, the hand. 
Here's a triangle at one person. You got the Nike swoosh. Three people, same height, triangle. Here's a family. One person, two person. Now here's the key. Look at a woman. I had to raise her higher. She's on a block. Any question? Boom. Bright sunlight, one flash. Now let's, let's go into lighting, hair lighting. People say, I don't like hair lighting. Well, Hanson, you have a choice. Hair lighting, that's how it looked like. You don't like it, take it away. It's not right or wrong, it's a style. Backlighting when you put the flash straight behind so you see a, a, a rim. Now I got edge lighting. This is the edge lighting. How we did this photograph is putting a flash coming across, put one flash, boom, you got edge lighting. So my flash, there's no modeling light, but I know that the pole is a straight line. I can see her eye, her back eye, going straight down and turn just a little bit, call feathering. The center will hit right here. Is that good or bad? That's bad. You, want to, you need to raise the light higher. Michael, can you raise the light? I, I, the center should be about aiming at her face. Right there. A little lower. A little lower. Right there. So I, I kind of know where it is. Now, the key in photography, we always talk about ratio, the shadow. I always carry a boom arm from Westcott because I don't want my assistant to carry it because you never waste a person holding a reflector unless you're shooting and moving. So I'm shooting an ETTL. I'm just going to cross your arm. The light is coming across her body. Beautiful. A little happy, good. I'm shooting automatic right now. What I'm going to do now add a, another light, channel C. The secret of lighting is all light from the back should be one stop less. I put a gel into this light. I want to create mood with color gel. So I talk about back lighting. We programmed this one stop, one stop less than the frontal lighting. All light from behind. And I like to use a round light. I like the light to spread all the way around. So I, I put a light modifier to wrap around. And I line this exactly right in the back. Just, uh, just turn your head toward the back, okay? Move, move one feet forward. Drop the shoulder. That away. That away, I'm sorry. Until you hit this way. And I'll put both hands up there, like that. And look, you're taller than me. Good. Have a great day, you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, b &H has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help.